Hey there, it's that mama. And after or before creating an account on Second Life, however you want to do it, you'll need to go and download the actual viewer. Here's Second Life's viewer, so you just push on that. It's going to in download it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and install that download that we just downloaded. So go to downloads, open that back up, open the file, say yes to the install, and pick whatever language you need. There's several different languages. I use English, and it's going to go to a file this will be all blurred out but it you know you send it to your c drive is the most usually this one um selected install and you say okay and you say okay and it will start the install and this only takes a few minutes just like a couple minutes you can see it installs rapidly And if there's any warning signs that pop up that it wants to, uh, for your firewalls, then accept them for your voice in Second Life. If not, then you might later have to adjust your firewall settings. But there's lots of tutorials on what specific files Second Life requires for that. But then it checks your system, checks to see if your uh, graphics card is up to speed with Second Life so that you can actually view Second Life. And if everything is good and you don't get a bad uh, uh, message about your um, graphics card not being a compatible, then you will be like this and you will see the Second Life um, home screen and this is for the Second Life viewer. Now there is on some other ones, I'm going to say quit, um, other sites there's a Firestorm and I'll provide the link but you go to Firestorm viewer and essentially you go to downloads and you can pick only for Second Life or for all open simulators. I use only for Second Life. You pick which operating system, Windows, Apple, or Linux. It's Windows. Firestorm only builds for 64-bit now. They don't have a 32-bit anymore. So you go down here and you say download. Of course, it downloads it and you install it from there just like the other one. Um, so both of these are free. The viewers have always been free. If you need a viewer for a slower computer, you can go here, older versions and other downloads, things like that. Firestorm gives you a pretty comprehensive list of their older viewers. On Firestorm, you can use an older viewer up to three different updates, and then it forces you to update to the newest one. So but they've got a whole bunch of information on uh, additional viewers that are out there that do help a slower computer run Second Life. But now, Second Life is pushing out a lot of new stuff with the mesh and the PBR and the environment changes where these older viewers and older computers just are not going to be able to run Second Life. It's going to come to that point. So be aware of that. I mean, it's a you know ticking time bomb, and the only viewers that are going to work is the ones that are current and keep current and keep in the loop with the update procedures and what's going on in Second Life. And that is, of course, the Second Life viewer that comes hand in hand with the program or Phoenix Firestorm, who has a whole team that updates consistently. So there you go. There's that information. And next we will make an account on Second Life. Hey there, it's that mama. 
and welcome to my channel. I am going to create a male avatar and aside from my female avatar for YouTube just so I can show all the male guys out there some good stuff too. I'm going to go sign up and I'm going to create a for my name and I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do that so I can delete the email that comes. Um, I'll go like this and put my, and I'll have to do all this too. Birth year, everything else is going to have to be clouded out. But you go like that and it will advance you on to the screen and here we go we've got male and females I'm gonna make a male um, so and I kind of like this size of male that's what I picked before I picked this skin color I believe no that skin color I picked these eyes I had hair I picked this hair to wear that shirt oh my goodness he's wearing a skirt how how silly let's get some pants on that boy some dark pants um, shoes look good okay um, And then you continue and it will give you an avatar. So I, I'm not going to continue <laughs> because um, I don't want to create this avatar again because it would be useless. But I did create one, Jalen Yara, to counteract my Ayana Yara avatar. And there's the cutscenes. Um, I thought a while back that you could choose like a whole bunch of you know but um, different species and stuff but I think that's within when you get in to Second Life then you can pick from the people chooser a whole different schematic of you know fantasies and everything else but this just kind of gives you a human basic form to pop in world. Um, when I say continue, it will take me to the Second Life Viewer download and say download Second Life. I don't use Second Life Viewer. So that's another reason why I don't want to continue on. I use Firestorm and have that already installed. All I'll have to do is go to Firestorm Viewer now and plug in my credentials and off we'll go. So let I will be showing you that next. So stick around. It's that mama and I'm back. We're going to plug in my male name here and get started. And I guess we got to say last location because I don't have a home yet. And I'm not too sure how easy it would be to find the home, the house, <laughs> but here they've landed me in and it's, it's going to be like a tutorial field right now. Um, like how to walk. They landed me in, where did I go? Adventure Island. Let's see if I can find my people. I'm going to 
type her in here. See this girl? There's an old, old picture of Ayana Yara. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna open profile and go to pics. And did I have it set at home? There's me. Hello, me. Um, do I have pics? Let's see. I don't think that was vacation home. Creamy butt boys. Okay, I guess. Oh, that's an old house picture, and now whoever pops oh, it called the creamy butt boys. Oh my heavens. I'm going to have to update. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so here I don't have a location saved. So I can't find my location from that avatar. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Let's move right along. I need a, a home location to go to because I have this little place to go to. It was a welcome world. I'm going to walk back here and I'm going to actually landmark it. So I will always have it. This lets you determine where you want to save the landmarks at. Um, usually it's under landmarks. But sometimes it does this favorites bar thing and that means it's always saving it up here to your favorites bar, which is a pain. So, you know, um, I'm just going to put the welcome area first in the world and let's go to what I wanted to show you I'm gonna pick up a body <laughs> and that sound morbid okay um, I'm gonna pick up a body so I am going to go here to the male bodies and I am on fabfreewordpress.com. That is a great site to find this information. Bodies and free stuff. I'm going to go and get the classic legacy body. And this will take me to it. It shops. It'll pop up in here. I'll say visit this location. I will go back in world. It will have a tab here and I will teleport there. When I arrive, I am going to bookmark, landmark, whatever you want to call it. And then I am going to swivel around here and there is the freebie area free classic. I'm going to do that. That will teleport me. And it's walking me into the wall. But I am going to join the group, which you can barely see. <laughs> but I'm going to push that and that will have a join the group in the shops. And sure, I'm going to join it. It's free to join. So you don't need any Lindens there. So we're doing good already. Then I am going to get my free body and accept. And that's going to be like the first thing in my inventory. So I'm going to drag this over. It's my inventory stuff. Here's what I'm wearing. Here's my inventory and what I'm wearing. And then I also like to have my little star. Where is it? I like to have the pose stand. But I like to have favorites wearables right up here. Then I like the people icon over here too. So I can access that quickly. And I think that's probably about it. Oh, sometimes I have this camera. I use that a lot. Okay. The vision of which way I'm facing. So, okay. All right, Jalen, we've got a body. <laughs> 
Okay, this was only part one, so join me again in part two, and we'll put the legacy body on Jay Lan, and then we'll also be searching for a free mesh head for the male avatar. So keep watching, we're still working on the male avatar.